Hello and welcome to Lag Theron. So this video is going to be real short, um, so I don't have a lot of time to record. Yeah, new computer, I'm living in a new place as well, I'm now on college at a university, so recording is going to be much different and probably not as timely as it was before. Um, also, we're playing Banish today, yay! Very short video, um, when I get more time I'll upload some more and keep the Banish going. So. Most of you played, uh, heard of, well, most people have heard about Banish these days. Um, I'm behind the times. Uh, it's a city simulator, a bit like SimCity, but better because it doesn't have uh, any server shit or EA. It was developed by a one man team, and one, well, one guy developed it for three years, and it is brilliant for a one man team like development project. So basically, We've got a bunch of citizens who have been banished from their medieval town, uh, medieval times, and we've got to look after them and help them survive. So I'm just going to get my... Whoop. I've played a little bit um, on a different uh, different map, so I wasn't a complete uh, retard when it came to starting up. Alright. Uh, let's do this. So. These are all the jobs that they can, the uh, citizens could have. We have 12 citizens, 11 children, a bunch of stockpiles of some food and things. Um, so let's get this show on the road. I tend to uh, create a lot of farming land relatively quickly uh, and find a spot for a forester. Um, foresters make sure uh, cut down trees and things like that for you um, uh, and they have to be situated well outside of town um, so they don't get in the way of your building and they have lots of trees to like uh, uh, forest basically uh, so we might put our farms up here this way in this area and put the forester here because there's plenty of trees which means we'll need less foresters I'll make a little town square yeah, that'll work. Um, there we go. Oops, I'm gonna do that. So there we go, little town square. We'll plonk down a house. Like so. Um, now, we need some farms. I try and make them as large as possible, which is 15 by 15. And we'll get an orchard. Fifteen, bam, and on the other side we'll have a pasture, big as we can make it. It's gonna be a massive pasture. There we go, twenty by twenty. Now that's gonna take a lot of resources, but as they uh, build this stuff, they will um, they will cut down resources for ourselves, for us. Well, yeah. Um, now. Because those th farms take a little bit of time to get up and running, so we're gonna create a little dodgy uh, fishing uh, dock. So dodgy. I don't know how many fish they'll be able to catch there, but you never know. So we'll we'll destroy that and uh, uh, plonk it down somewhere else later, because uh, you'll get the resources back when you. Um, so we'll create another stockpile here because we're going to get a massive influx of stuff. Alright, so we've got our fishermen, we've got our farmers, and now we need our forester, which is down here. Oh, that's not it. Uh, this is a woodcutter. Uh, they save your ass in the winter. They will uh, make uh, firewood for you. Um, so they're a massive deal, and we'll put the forester next to them, just like so. Oh, I put it in the wrong spot. My bad. There we go. Yeah, it's gone. A bit hard lining things up when they're not built yet. Uh, and we'll honk. 
down a herbalist later. They keep your health going. Alright, so let's get everyone building. And let's speed up time. Now we'll zoom in a bit so we can like see our little guys going at it. Alright, there we go. I like to play in 10 times speed because it makes life so much easier. And once you've had a bit of practice, um, it's not too hard. And as you can tell, it's early spring and rains are here. So the builders are getting to work, building everything, they're cutting down, clearing all our pastures and whatnot. And once things start to get bit, that's another house. I put a house now, uh, so population will continue to grow, um, which is a pretty big deal. Oh, alright, so some things are being, have been handled now. Now, I tend to have two people work these fields. Um, and, oh, let's put this food limit up, jeez, that's low. Um, I tend to have two farmers per field, and we'll start off with one fisherman for now. Actually, we'll start off with a full amount of fishermen, because our farms won't be ready for a little while. Alright, and let's keep going. So they cut down all those trees, heaps of wood. Um, those fields different sizes? I think they are. Oh, that one's off center. Oh, jeez, my OCD, OCD alarm's going off. What was this? This was pumpkin hair. Okay, we we'll have two people work that, and we'll get people farming it straight away. Um, so our firewood is low currently. You could see, I, al I always do this. Every time. I always have too much going on at the beginning and people tend to die as a result. Um, so no one's picking up that stuff because this stockpile hasn't been uh, created yet. <laughs> As you can see, storage and logs, the blah blah blah, is a bit low. I need that woodcutter forest tile. Somebody do that. Where are all the builders? <laughs> Yeah, I know, but where is everyone? What are they doing? They're just lazing around. That's really weird. Alright, so I'm gonna... Um, well, I don't really know how to... Oh, there we go. Um, this, might have been, this might be the first glitch I've come across so far. Um, there we go. Is anyone gonna do fix it up? Do it? No? Alright, here they go. Stockpile. Do something with the stockpile. Keys. Keys. Do something. Okay, I think they're still felling trees over here. I don't know, but there you go, banished for you, basically. And look, we've Got our first bit of farm going. Ah, here we go, finally. Stockpile is up and running. Now things will start to happen. Thank you. Alright, now fishermen are pouring in the fish, just keeping us above board with the food. Um, also, our crops are being harvested. Because the winter, winter is legitimately coming very soon, um, and we may not survive winter yet. <laughs> um, we don't have much of a stock of food, except fishermen keep um, 
fishing during winter, so that's, that's good. Um, and there you go. Winter. So hopefully we have enough food to get us through. We're getting heaps of laborers. Um, and I'll build some more houses so we can get our population really going up there. There we go. Ah, uh, they're all gonna freeze. No one has wood. Um, I believe there's a uh, freeze priority. That works. Go on, builders, do your stuff. Need firewood. Yes. All right. Woodcutter, go to work. I need. I need all the. Oof. We can have 63 chickens. Oh, I love chickens. So they'll take a. It won't stop producing like meat or until. It hit 63, like chicken meat, but it'll produce eggs straight away, so that's really good. Um, now there's no, no more work to be done for the builders. So we have a bunch of laborers currently. Um, everyone's freezing to death. Pretty awkward. So hopefully we get some firewood going very soon. There we go. Now, I get the feeling we're gonna need some more... Oh, there's no herdsmen. Ah, terrible. One herdsman should be enough. Look after a bunch of chickens. So, let's get another farm out here. So... Two builders will do the trick, I reckon. need a herbalist as well. Uh, keep all our people healthy. They need the herbalist needs to be in the forest uh, so as to collect all the stuff. And to allow more trees to grow, it is extremely beneficial to get pick up all the rocks in the area. And then you can the forest to plant more trees. So awesome for soccer. All right, so we'll leave that there for today. Uh, well, for this episode. Um, obviously, if you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Um, and I'll probably do a couple more episodes before taking a check on uh, how well we're traveling. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.